Life hacks are some of the stupidest shit on the internet to the point where it's almost insulting when you see them. Just dumb bullshit like, if you have to fart and it's not an appropriate place, hold it in. Or super pro tip life hack turbo mode ultra life hack. If you need to remember your passwords to your online accounts, write them down. But I found a channel on YouTube that makes every other life hack look genuinely useful. It's an account called Mr. Gear who releases some of the most psychotic, dumb, unbelievably fucking ridiculous contraptions that he considers life hacks. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the mind of a lunatic here. So this one starts with scalping an innocent Pringles can. So you murder a Pringles can and the end result will shock you. You won't believe number six life hack. Bravo, Mr. Gear, real MacGyver over here, the world's most repulsive pencil holder and or cup depending on how you'd like to use it. Really simple though, all you need is a Pringles can and some yarn straight from the 1800s. That was the dirtiest yarn I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. I swear he must have dug up his great grandmother's grave and she was buried with all of her fucking sewing materials and he just picked up her yarn and then wrapped the Pringles can with it. It's not even aesthetically pleasing or anything either, it just looks like you dumped your shit into a stiff pile of pubic hair. That looks like something that maybe George of the Jungle would have put on his school desk or Tarzan. No one's gonna want that, and why do you even need two Pringles cans and cut them up? Why not just open the Pringles can and use that as the holder? It's the same effect. I guess this is a good solution if you've decapitated your toothbrush but still want to use the head, but I don't know why you'd go through the extra steps of hot gluing it to an eraserless pencil when you can just go to the store and buy a brand new one for four cents. One thing you'll notice about Mr. Gear's unique life hacks is they predominantly consist of break shit and then glue that shit onto other shit. It's a vicious cycle of just glue shit, glue shit, glue shit, and then create the most disgusting product at the very end of the procedure, when you could have just bought something a lot cheaper and saved yourself a lot of trouble. This CD coaster being the perfect example. If you want to use it as a coaster, just use the CD, I guess. If you want to just throw away a Windows 98 instructional DVD, that's totally fine. Why go through the extra step of gluing clothespins that you broke onto it? It's fucking dumb. It doesn't make it look any better. It makes it look even stupider, somehow. Yeah, that looks like a good writing utensil, a straw with the fucking pin. I, what do you, I just don't understand, Mr. Gear. You're ten steps above human intelligence here. You're existing on a, another plane that corporeal existence just doesn't quite reach yet. This man is a goddamn genius. Science said it couldn't be done. Scientists said you couldn't turn a fork into a spoon. What do you call that, scientist? That's checkmate. David Blaine couldn't even turn a fork into a spoon. You know what Mr. Gear says to David Blaine? Suck as fuck, Mr. Blaine, because he has just turned a fork into a spoon. An amazing transmutation here, and he teaches everyone how to do it with a simple life hack. I also appreciate how he has a pretty hard cut on the back of his hand that you know he got while cutting up the coke can. So don't nobody ever say Mr. Gear doesn't make sacrifices for his life hacks. There's a question that's never been asked by a single human being throughout all of history. I don't think anyone gives a shit on how to protect their marker. It's not like there needs to be marker insurance. Shit! I've just been burglarized and they broke all of my markers. Luckily, I'm covered. And even if he means protecting the marker from drying out if you lose the cap, who gives a fuck? Just get another marker. Marker lives don't matter that much. I don't think there's a huge movement to fund research for breakthrough scientific discoveries to increase the lifespan of a marker. I take it all back. That's a fucking great solution. Just wrap a balloon on it like a condom.
Now, is this hack that really greased up my shit stain and confused me because I was under the impression that these life hacks were aimed at kids just to give them something fun to do, but they really can't be because he doesn't use kid-friendly tools. He uses box cutters, razor blades, and now a fucking blowtorch. I'm sure the next tool he's gonna break out is a goddamn circular saw or something. That shit can't be aimed at kids because kids shouldn't have access to those kind of power tools and materials. So this has to be aimed at adults, but what full-grown, rational-thinking adult is going to look at any of these and be like, yeah, that, that's definitely a lot easier than the alternative of just buying a three-cent replacement. If there is a single, living, breathing human being that watched that and unironically thought to themselves, Eureka! Finally, the answer to all of my prayers, the solution to my sleeping problems where it's too bright to sleep. I found it with the Coke bottle paperclip mask. Damn, too bright for sleeping? Why not just turn off the light? If that's too much trouble, why not get a face mask? Why would you ever make that right there? If there's a single person, though, that unironically made this, I will genuinely shit my pants, take off the shitted pants, and then eat the shitted pants. Because I don't believe a single person out there, no matter how mentally unwell, would look at that and think that's what I need in my life. Thank you, Mr. Gear. I don't know what the fuck this is. Maybe he made a little lemon titty. I, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. A modern art piece? I couldn't tell you. But god damn it, your life has been hacked. Through the miracle of cold fusion and hot glue, Mr. Gears created the world's most inefficient eraser. What a beautiful double whammy to finish this video off from Mr. Gear. He gets you with the one-two punch. He makes a pencil sharpener that... Well, it's just a pencil sharpener. And then he makes a flimsy plate holder that will 100% break your plates. Your life has been fucking changed. Thank you, Mr. Gear. I'll make sure to do all of these. Never. But goddammit, those are some real creative shit-ass life hacks. See ya.